welcome stats busters to question 14 and this one's all about putting some fractions in order starting with the smallest now there's a couple of different ways you could think about this first way is by drawing a bar for three fifths and three quarters well if i draw a bar for three fifths so basically i would have to split that into five pieces and if the whole bar is worth 100%, 100% split into five pieces is 20% each. So each piece would be worth 20%. But because I'm only wanting three of those pieces, that would be 60%. Because 20, 20, and 20, three lots of 20 is 60%. So basically, three fifths is worth 60%. If we did a similar sort of thing for three quarters, because we're dealing with quarters this time, we only want four pieces in our bar. And again, the whole bar is worth 100%, but because you split it into quarters, you split it into four. And 100 split into four is 25%. But because we only want three quarters, that's three lots of 25, which is 75%. Now then from there, you could just use a little bit of logic because six fifths is obviously bigger than a whole one. It's an improper fraction. Six divided by five is one remainder of one. And because we're dealing with fifths, it's one and one fifth. So because that's bigger than a whole one and the other two are less than a whole one, the six fifths has to be the biggest one. So that one's got to go there. And then we can use this working out about percentages to figure out which one of the other two is the smallest. Well, 60% is smaller than 75%, so 3 fifths must be smaller than 3 quarters. So 3 fifths must be the smallest, and 3 quarters must go in the middle box. If you wanted to use a similar logic on the 6 fifths, then again, you're dealing with fifths, so you would need 5 boxes. And each box is worth 20%, just like it was before. We we're going to fill out six of these boxes. So you'd obviously you'd fill out the first five, which would take you to 100, but a sixth box would be another 20 on the end, and six lots of 20 is 120%. So six fifths is more than a whole one, and more than a whole one is more than 100%. It's 120%. So that also fits in with what we were saying earlier. So your final answer is three fifths is the smallest, three quarters is the next smallest, six fifths is the biggest. There is actually another way you could work this out. You could actually do a division and turn them all into decimals. Well, six fifths means six divided by five. So that's six divided by five. Three fifths means three divided by five. So that's fives into three like that and three quarters means three divided by four so how many fours go into three now if we work these out we'd have them all in decimals fives into six goes once remainder one but you can't just carry the one to an empty column you need to put a zero in to hold the place value and you can't just put a zero in because you're turning six into 60 to keep the six being worth six you need to put a decimal point in fives into ten goes twice with nothing left over it, therefore we've finished. So the answer to that is 1.2 once you put your decimal point in. As for three fifths, fives into three won't go, but you haven't really used the three because it wouldn't work. So you need to carry the three to the next column, but you can't put the three in an empty column. You need to put a zero in to go with it. Fives into 30 goes six times. Put your decimal point in, so that's 0.6. As for three quarters, fours into three won't go, but you have, because it wouldn't go, you haven't really used the three, carry your three, but you can't carry the three to an empty column, put the zero in, put your decimal point in. Fours into 30 goes seven times, that's 28 with two left over. You can't put the two in an empty column, put a zero in. Fours into 20 goes five times with nothing left over, therefore that's 0.75. Now again, you would still actually get the same answer. The smallest one of these decimals is 0 0.6, which came from 3 fifths. Therefore, 3 fifths is the smallest. 0 0.75 came from 3 quarters, which is why that's the next smallest. 
and 1.2 is the biggest decimal which came from 6 fifths which is why that's the biggest.